everyone, Bethany here, and welcome to my channel. Today I am playing around with the Not Too Shabby Shop Stamp and Die set of the month for April. I absolutely love this set. It is so cute. It is called Grow Happy Thoughts, and I have been having a lot of fun playing with it. So today I am going to share with you one of my favorite stylings for a quick, fast, and easy card. First things first, I have started off with a white piece of cardstock and it is just 65 pound cardstock. And I am going to use this Spotlight Stencil from Maker Forte and I'm going to place it right around center. If I'm not exact, that's okay. I think this will shine and be stunning no matter what or where my placement is. And then I'm going to adhere mint tape from the back to hold it down because I will be using a lot of blending for this. Once I am satisfied with the placement, I am going to go ahead and start with my basic yellow. I've grabbed the English mustard from the Color Hive ink family and using a blending brush, I am going to get a good amount of ink on that brush before I start blending. I'm going to start out to end, creating a highlight in the middle and shadows towards the outside. And because I grabbed so much color in that first grab, I don't really need a whole lot more. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep blending back and forth in that circular motion just with that initial grab of the ink. I want my highlights to remain highlights and my shadows to remain shadows. And then once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to grab my next color, which is going to be the grape. And using another blending brush, I'm just going to hit up the edges. I don't want to go too far in where it becomes all purple, but I'm trying to get a nice blend of color. And you'll notice I didn't use a lot of ink. And then staying mostly on the outside, just going to keep going back over, going back and forth, blending that extra dark purple edge. Then grabbing the red Lycaster Color Hive ink, it's kind of an orangey red. I'm only going to blend right at the bottom. I don't want this orange to really be at the top part. But you can see how I probably should have blended in circles instead of lines because my brush did create lines, which is okay. I'm pivoting and just building a little bit of that orange right at the base of that yellow. And it is coming out stunning. Now the big reveal. And now I have this pretty sunset looking sun going on which is super quick and easy to do but my background is just about complete it does take a little bit of time for this to dry so i gave it a generous 15 minutes maybe a little more maybe a little less i'm not sure an approximation but because there are so many layers of ink i don't want what i'm going to do next to affect and smear and rub at all so I am going to lightly place my stamp that I'm using, which is the top wildflower one. And I'm going to try to have the bottom just at or a hair below where my circle is. I do want to leave space for a sentiment. Now I'm going to go ahead and use some Eclipse Black Color Hive ink. Ink those wildflowers up really well. And then using a smoosher, I'm going to get the best impression I possibly can. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put my butterfly. And I'm going to place it just a little bit above right here. And then I'm just going to add the little trail. The butterfly is flying over the flowers. I think that's such a cute addition. I could use it for so many other stamp sets that I have. I love having a versatile stamp like that. It's simple, yet so useful. I've gone ahead and changed the placement of my magnets because I want the row happy thoughts down here and it's kind of hard to put it in there 
um, while it's while my magnets there on the bottom. I am going to now put the red Lycaster, and let me get this on screen for you. I'm going to put the red Lycaster at the front, and then the English mustard at the back. And I'm going to take one of my blending brushes and just tap. And I'm going to place it down, and you can see how that is just created this little sunset look. And I'm going to do it one more time just to get that yellow a little darker and brighter. And now it is perfect. So it's super simple, but it you end up with such a cute look that it's really fun and gives you a lot of those sunsetty happy thoughts i use this style a lot for sympathy cards and people love it because you know it's kind of a sunset on a light and brings happiness to what could be a very hard time to deal with so that's all i'm going to do for this I am going to put it on a card base. I have the Nina 110 pound cardstock and just placing one light layer of glue. I'm using the Barely Art glue and piecing this together. And it's one of those fast, easy, but really stunning, really impactful cards. And not super filled with techniques, but it looks like it's filled with a lot of technique. I absolutely love this style. I think. I gravitate towards this style probably the most if I have to whip out a card really fast and easy. This is one of my top picks for the style I choose. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you learned something. This is another example of the same technique. I just did a little bit different. I didn't add as much of the purple as I did with this and I also didn't add the orange. I did to the bottom though. So it's just a little different take and I really, really love this technique. It is so fast, so easy, and definitely is super impactful and gorgeous. Don't forget to check down below for the link to the Not Too Shabby Shop. If you haven't gotten your stamp and die set of the month, I definitely recommend this set. It is so versatile and easy to use for many different occasions. I will have links down below for the supplies that I used. Also, don't forget to check down the link below. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please join me on my channel for more crafty inspiration throughout the month. I cannot wait to show you next month's project. It's going to be amazing. Click the thumbs up. Let us know that you like what we're doing here. Thank you for joining me today. And don't forget to find the joy in your day. Happy making! Bye.